Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for inviting me to address you today on the role of deposit systems in a resource efficient society. I'm sorry I cannot be with you in person, but I would nevertheless like to take this opportunity to share some thoughts on this really important topic. Last year, in the Roadmap for a Resource Efficient Europe, the Commission put forward a set of core objectives for dealing with waste and promoting recycling. Our vision is that by 2020, waste generated per person should be in decline, recycling and reuse should be maximized, incineration should be limited to non-reusable and non-recyclable materials, and last but not least, landfilling should be virtually eliminated as a waste management option. It is against this background that we have announced a review of reuse, recovery and recycling targets in three key European Union directives. The Waste Framework Directive, the Landfill Directive and the Packaging Directive. The review is scheduled to be completed in 2014 and we will soon be launching a public discussion to prepare it. I would encourage you to participate in the consultation process on this and to work with us to bring real improvements to the way we deal with waste in our society. Ladies and gentlemen, in the European Union, we have made quite some progress in the way we manage waste. Landfilling is decreasing while recycling and reuse are on increase. Already today, six European member states have managed to reduce landfilling to levels well below 5%, and some have also achieved very high levels of reuse and recycling more than 70%. Nevertheless, there are large differences between member states. 10 member states are still landfilling more than 70% of their municipal waste. One of our recent studies underlines the crucial role of economic instruments in improving waste management. This includes landfill and incineration taxes or bans, pay as you throw schemes and producer responsibility systems such as deposit schemes. These schemes have been demonstrated as efficient in achieving high rates of separate collection, recycling or reuse. The importance of deposit schemes will grow in future, particularly to capture some specific waste streams containing rare, precious or polluting materials. The full implementation of European Union waste legislation could create as many as 400,000 jobs in Europe, of which nearly 55,000 in Spain. Eliminating landfilling for municipal waste and therefore putting in place recycling installations could create an additional 130,000 jobs, of which 20,000 in Spain. Not to mention new business opportunities, the turnover of the waste sector could be increased by more than 40 billion euro by implementing existing legislation and by more than 55 billion euro if landfilling were to be eliminated. So, Bad economic times are no excuse for bad implementation of waste legislation. On the contrary, it makes good business and economic sense to manage waste well. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy that a wide range of stakeholders has been invited to this event. Exchanging experiences and best practices is crucial to improve waste management and ultimately to build a recycling society, as we set out in our resource efficiency roadmap. So, let me conclude by encouraging your efforts as well as the European Week for Waste Reduction. These initiatives are essential to build a really resource-efficient society. I wish you a fruitful seminar and thank you very much for your attention.